Hi, good morning. Do you know what time it is? No, I don't wear a watch. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. What time do you open the gates? Seven. Do you mind if I hang out here till the docks open? Please yourself, but you'll have a long wait. It's Sunday. And tomorrow is the start of the national holiday. Everything is closed for a month. Well, wouldn't you just know it? Ever heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. I have to make a delivery to Condor Transglobal. Where's your rig? Uh, about half a mile down the road. And you walked here? Jeez, are you some kind of nut? Nah, it was easy. I just put one foot in front of the other. Are you gonna let me make my delivery? Not without the paperwork. You get the papers, you make your delivery, and I get a fat backhander. I was getting nowhere with the story about being a trucker. Do you know what kind of business Condor's involved in? I'm paid to guard the gate. Their business is none of mine. I'm looking for a young woman. At the docks? What kind of woman do you have in mind? You don't understand. It's my girlfriend I'm trying to find. Well, I ain't seen her, and you should tell her. The docks ain't no place for a young lady. They're dirty and they're dangerous. I'm certain my girlfriend was brought here when she was abducted. What? Your girl was kidnapped? Yeah. Struck down by an Indian with a poison dart. A poison dart, huh? I could tell he didn't believe me. I have these very exotic panties. Take them away, you pervert! Have you ever heard of Professor Ubier? Me? None of my friends are professors or anything like that. What's cooking? Beans. You know a man can live on nothing but beans. Not this one. Don't you ever get tired of eating beans? Sure I do. What do you take me for? And what's the alternative? Peas. I can't eat them too often, though. They play hell with my digestion. Have you ever considered changing your diet? What's wrong with beans and beer? You need me to tell you? You're pumping out enough methane here to fill a dirigible. This is the dart that the Indian shot at my girlfriend. Sheesh! That's pretty weird, but I don't see why you'd expect to find her here. Take a look at this letter. That's sick! Did you write it? Oh, no. No, it's a letter from my girlfriend's admirer. If I was you, I'd smack him in the mouth. Well, that's not my style, but thanks for the advice. I...
I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. Now half full of filthy dock water. The label read, Surge, the beer that clears your head. The bottle was half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. That chimney looked very exposed without its cone. I decided to keep the cone. You never know when a cone may come in useful. Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney. And the hut was filling up with smoke. The packet was full of dog biscuits. Someone had once told me a piece of coal brought you luck. Hey, 20. Come and get it, boy. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a, well, like a dog.
That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat hook. Who is it? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. What do you want? I want to return your spider. I pulled its legs off, which is exactly what I'm going to do to you. I got the feeling he wasn't too pleased to see me. It was my lucky piece of coal. Hey, what now? Police, we want to talk to you about abduction, arson, and attempted murder. You got a warrant? Sure I got a warrant. Open the door, I'll show you. You wait. That's got him scared. And angry. The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Whoa! Don't shoot! The little guy had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh, uh, 
What? What do you want? Uh, uh... He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Hi. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Guaramonte. Was that your name? Guaramonte? Uh, Guaramonte. His vocabulary seemed a little restricted. What is this key unlocked? Huh? Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? Hey, come back here! The little guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? Sleep balanced. there. That would keep the doors from closing. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Just as I'd hoped. A secret room. Nico! There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Oubier had been in Marseille, but never mind about me. 
How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Mu. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubier. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo is recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. The pallet rose about six inches off the floor, and I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. It was too heavy for me to move on my own.
Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. Okay, push! Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Nico, I have a great idea. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. Georges, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Georges, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. That little guy kept saying Coromante. Perhaps the name is significant. Coromonte is in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Coromonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Transglobal seemed a good place to start. <laughs>